welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys what I typically eat in a school day. Every morning I wake up at either 5.30 or 6.30 depending if I'm going to the gym or not. And in this video, it was the morning where I did go to the gym. So when I got back, I just wanted to have a quick and easy recess and lunch to make. And then also a really simple breakfast that wouldn't take up too much time in the morning. So all of these recipes are going to be super quick and easy. Nothing fancy. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful. And let's continue on with what I eat in a school day. So for recess today, I made my fancy creation chia pudding yogurt bowl thing. So to do this, I put in three teaspoons of chia seeds with just a little bit of almond milk, not too much because it will take forever to set. And then I gave it a bit of a stir and put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. So then the chia seeds expand. And while that was setting in the fridge, I made my lunch, but I'll show you that in a second. So for the toppings part of this recipe, I chopped up some fresh fruit so i used some banana strawberries and blueberries um they're just the fruits that i had on hand and i find they go best with this recipe once they're all cut up i grabbed out my jar and you need to make sure it has a really good lid so it doesn't leak and then i added in about a serving of vanilla Yo Pro yogurt. You could use whatever you like. And by this point, my chia pudding was set. So I poured it over the top of the yogurt. Then I added the layer of banana, strawberries, and then blueberries. To make it a bit more fancy, I added some homemade chocolate granola. And the recipe for that is in my back to school recipe video. And there we have it. It looks so fancy, but it's so simple to make. So while my chia pudding was setting, I made my lunch and it was so easy because I just grabbed out some uh, turkey and vegetable burrito mix thing that I prepped up a while ago with sweet potato. And then I just added in some cooked rice and literally that was it. It was so quick. It took me a solid 20 seconds to make, which is why I love food prepping. It saves me so much time. And so literally that was it for um, my lunch. It was already made for me. And then to go with that, I added in a homemade muffin, which again was in my back to school recipe video. And I added in an apple as well, but I had some technical difficulties fitting that in, but we made it in the end. So that is what I brought to school with me for that day. And now moving on to breakfast. <music> for breakfast i was a little bit indecisive and did something a bit different so i put in two slices of rye bread sprayed a pan with olive oil and cooked up one egg because that's all we had and then on the other slice of toast i put on some like nut butter thing so normally i have avocado with my eggs on toast but we were out of avocados that day so i just used spinach which was a little bit disappointing because I love avocado on toast. And then on the other one, I got my fancy nut butter out. Um, I think it had sesame seeds, peanuts, almonds, and like two other fancy nuts. I'm not sure what it was. It was really cheap as well from Coles and it tastes so good. I'd definitely recommend it. It's like one of my new favorite things ever. That's what it looks like. It's called Power Mix. And then I also chopped it with like a quarter of a banana and then added on my scrambled egg to the other piece of toast. And I also mixed in some paprika for flavor and some pepper and a little bit of salt. I put it on my hand because one time I didn't and it went everywhere. So I'm not risking that again. And yeah, I just added it to my toast and that was it for breakfast. So, simple it literally took me five minutes to make and um it was great after my workout i've just gotten home from school had a shower gotten changed and now i'm about to make an after school snack i don't know about you but i'm always so hungry after school so today i feel like something a bit refreshing because i'm a bit hot and um i'm gonna make a smoothie bowl i'm gonna try it's probably gonna end up like a smoothie but anyway let's go make it so for my smoothie this is what you'll need so i've got some berries acai powder 
Almond milk. This is just some random brand that my mum brought. It's quite nice. So it's a bit fancy smancy. Um, I've got some yogurts, a banana, chia seeds, and then some protein powder. I don't always add protein in my smoothies, but because I'm quite hungry, I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling some protein powder right now. So starting off, I'm going to add in uh, a banana. Normally I would use a frozen banana, but we don't have any at the moment. Then I'm gonna chuck in some blackberries. These are my favorite berries ever. And then some strawberries. We just do the lazy Paris method of ripping off the green bits and then chucking them in. Cause like, why not? And then I added, whoopsie, the almond milk, not too much. And then I add some ice. This makes it like nice and thick if you don't have banana. I'm gonna add a bit more. Then, grabbing out a spoon, I'm gonna add in some acai. You could get this in the frozen sachets. Um, I just, mum just brought me this from Audi like months ago. I still haven't gotten through it. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some protein, not too much, it's about half serve. Um, I use the Botanica Blend Protein, it is my favorite, and it's really cheap for the amount you get. Normally, this is only like $40 for a one kilo bag, which normally is 40 for 500 grams. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of yogurt, just a little bit, um, just to make it a bit more thick. Get some calcium in, I'm gonna add in. Chia seeds. Right, let's clear this up. Ta da! And now I'm just gonna add the blendy lid thing, whatever that is called. Give it a shake and blend it up. So, um, as I predicted, it is too runny to be a smoothie bowl. That's okay though. I'm gonna add on some chocolate bikini granola that I brought from the health food store just for a bit of extra crunch because I like to have different textures in my food. And there we go. I love the color of this one. It's so pretty. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna to cook up some salmon. So I've just brought a fillet of salmon here. I've got some soba noodles and I'm also gonna cook up some vegetables. I'm gonna try and make some like Asian salmon noodle dish. I'm just gonna wing it like I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh wait, they literally have a recipe on the back. That looks really good. How do I make that? Okay, so no, there's actually no recipe on the back. It's all right. Yeah, I don't know, but first of all, we're gonna start off by cooking the salmon because that takes the longest. Let me see, let me see. So most nights I'll switch it up between having um, chicken, turkey, salmon, white fish, and then some sort of plant-based thing or pasta. So I'm gonna put it in this thing so then I can put a lid over the top. Using some olive oil spray because we don't have any normal olive oil at the moment. And then I cook the skin first so then I can scrape it off because I'm weird and I don't like the skin. And then I season the top, flip it over, cook it. I'll show you what all. So I'm just gonna add some lemon juice. That should do us. You would not believe it. I just realized that we have no soy sauce, no tamari, nothing that I can cook this in. Great. This is gonna be one plain Jane dish. Oh, Paris, Paris, Paris. We can make this work, I'm gonna make this work. So I'm gonna add some, hello. I'm gonna add some pepper, some paprika, some herbs, just give it a massage. Gonna add the lid on, turn it down a little bit and let it cook. Now I'm just gonna cook up some vegetables to steam to add into it. So I'm doing some capsicum as per usual. Or bell pepper if you're in America. Looks a little bit crusty. Get some broccoli too. I love broccoli at the moment. I don't know why, I've just been really feeling like it. Then I'm going to add some tomato. Okay, so now it's cooked a bit. Well, steamy, I'm gonna take the skin off. And look how easy that is. 
Now I'm just going to add my vegetables to get steamed. I'm finally steaming them properly. I'm not being lazy today. I'm not just chucking them in water. Okay, now it gets to this point where it's like almost cooked. So then I kind of just mash it up a little bit. Don't mind me. Um, is that a bone in there? Excuse me. Yeah, so sorry if this hurts your eyes, but like... So everything is cooked now. I'm just going to cook the noodles. They only take like five minutes. So I've got these organic soba noodles. And I'm going to do about that many. Whoopsie. They're flying everywhere. And I'll let them cook for a bit. So I've just put all of my vegetables um, with the salmon. And keeping that off the heat. Because I don't want it to like overcook. And then the noodles are almost ready. Then I'm going to add them in here. And then try and give it some flavour. Okay, let's mix this in. And then get it flavourful. The natural flavours of the salmon will be quite nice. And then... I'm going to add in some lime juice. I'm going to sit outside, eat my dinner. And do you want to see my amazing view? It's my pool with some dead insects in it. <gasps> and Nate! Yum. It's actually really nice with our um, sauce. Good wing up recipe, Paris. Right. Who actually needs sauce? All right, guys. That wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. All that jazz. And I'll see you all in my next video.